Hey guys, what is up? It is TrueKiller360 here, and today I have some more Black Ops 3 gameplay. But before I start with that, I just want to say that I am super happy my uh, laptop turned on today, and hopefully it will not turn off again this time. I'm going to do my best to keep it cool and keep it working, so hopefully we can uh, have that for a while. I do also want to say you're watching some Call of Duty Advanced Warfare gameplay, and uh, in the beginning of the game, I don't start off too good but my team ends up just destroying the other team so uh, enjoy the gameplay in the background so today I have a uh, quite a few things I wanted to talk about on Black Ops 3 first I want thing uh, main thing I really want to talk about was the Black Ops 3 beta and uh, basically how to get into this and other stuff like that so the easiest way to get in this is probably go by down to, I'd say, like GameStop or even I think Walmart's doing it too. There's a whole bunch of different store retailers that's doing this. Uh, Best Buy, Target, or just to name a few. That uh, all you have to do is put $5 down on the pre-order and they will give you the code. Now, it hasn't been released yet when the game's going to be released or how long the beta is going to be. But we're participating... That it's going to be around probably E3 or Gamescon, somewhere around there. And one of the developers said that he thought it was probably going to be about one to two weeks long. So uh, you were probably looking at about a month or two before the game actually releases. And what the beta does, it basically allows the game to uh, get patches and stuff before it comes out. Let the game be a little more balanced before the actual game comes out. So if you get the beta and think a gun is just insane, the final game probably won't be the same. I mean the gun will probably still be good, but it probably won't be as good. So uh, moving on, there's a incredible deal if you're in uh, the Best Buy Gamers Club. Um, you, which means you can get Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for only $38. Basically, uh, what this does is the Best Buy Gamers Club um, unlocked members save 20% off the pre-order of the game and they get a $10 reward certificate, meaning they only have to pay $38 to uh, get the game. So that's awesome. If you're definitely in that, definitely go do that. Uh, the more to you. And, you know, that's money you can put towards the Season Pass or whatever other games you may want to purchase. So, uh... Moving on, so uh, there's uh, quite a bit of info re released. Um, if you guys know who Drifter is, he's on Reddit, he's on YouTube, he does a lot of stuff. He's actually had a hands-on with the game, and uh, he's played the pre-pre-alpha version of the game, which means some of the stuff that he says may not be uh, totally true, and you know they may take stuff out of the game, they may put stuff in, and stuff like that. So... Uh, Moving on in this article, I will link these articles in the description, by the way, if you guys wanted to go read these yourself. Um, he says the game played at a steady 1080p 60 frames on PS4, while uh, campaign mode was available on PC at 4K at 60 frames a second. That's pretty awesome. I am uh, really glad that, you know, they're taking that next step up and uh, really giving the games good graphics. And I'm glad the PlayStation's at 1080 at 60 frames. They haven't released what Xbox One is at yet, and, uh, you know, speaking of other releases on different consoles, they still not sure if they're going to release it on Wii U. And, you know, what I think is going to happen, if they do end up releasing it on Wii U, they will have a separate kind of company come in and help them with it, like they did with Advanced Warfare and the past-gen consoles. And what I think this third-party, uh, I guess, group will do is they may end up talking to Activision and maybe, just maybe, getting the game on a PS3 and Xbox 360. And uh, basically the only uh, reason they would probably do that is because the dollar signs, all the money they'll make from the past gen consoles towards Black Ops 3 and all that. So I could see that happening, it's very doubtful, but uh, you know, we'll just have to see. Now uh, moving on. The, uh, he said the uh, gameplay is very vertical, and 90% of gunfights were ground, or it's not very vertical, about 90% of the guns were ground-based because you can't move as fast as you did in Advanced Warfare. You guys played Advanced Warfare, you guys know you can exo-jump everywhere, you can go from one side of the map to the other in pretty much 5 seconds. He said in this game, the jumping is probably about 60% slower, and uh, 
And, and you know, that's just awesome. I'm so glad they did that. And another thing that David Vonderhaar came out and said that kind of disappoints me is that there's not going to be any toughness in the game. The toughness perk was just a must-have in Black Ops 2. It's one of my favorite perks. I had it on every single one of my classes, no matter what I was using. And you know, he said they're actually getting rid of it. However, when you're getting shot, you don't flinch as much as you would in Black Ops 2 without toughness. He said it's about halfway between having toughness and not having it. So, you know, you'll get it a little bit getting used to I guess because you know toughness has been in the past few Call of Duties and it's kind of been a must-have perk for all of us so it may get a little used to uh, with that and he also described the TTK which is time to kill as very similar to Black Ops 2 so it's not completely unchanged now I am really happy with that I thought Black Ops 2 did a terrific job with how long it took to kill someone and, uh, you know, other games like Ghosts, I thought Ghosts was just too quick in Advanced Warfare. I think Advanced Warfare is just a little too quick on the kills sometimes. Um, moving on, the, uh, the weapon customization and attachment choices were truly insane. More than ever before, Drifter said. And he also added, didn't like a few choices or facial animations in the campaign. There's a blast suppressor type perk and a few of the perk 3 choices were very weird not bad just odd so he didn't say what these perks and choices were but you know that leaves some speculation to what they might be and if they'll even make it into the final game or even the beta I do also want to say that some of the features that may be in the beta will not make it to final they're not 100% sure on what features are going to make it if they're going to add new features and stuff like that and uh, moving on, I have a, another uh, article here. This basically talks about some of the system information on the PS4. Basically how big or how big it was and just some other uh, kind of simple details. So it requires 50 gigs minimum space required, which means if you get digital, you're probably going to lose quite a bit of hard drive space. So I'd probably recommend getting the actual disc. It is one to four players and it uses the DualShock 4 vibration function. The HD TV screen resolution is 720p, 1080i, and 1080p, and the network players is 2 to 12. And because it says that, I think they're not going to bring back Ground War, which would be something a little bit different. I know Ground War has been in quite a few games in the past, and just for them to come out and just kind of yank that out, it'd be kind of something a bit different. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about all I have for this video today, guys. I will do another video probably tomorrow basically talking about uh, some of the characters that are going to appear in multiplayer and maybe some in single player and kind of give you a better description of all of them and maybe a little bit more information on multiplayer and a single player as well. So uh, make sure you guys come back for that. And if you like this, please leave a like below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day and peace out.